If we knew that Christ was black, we would be shooting each other. If we knew that Christ was black, we'd say, hey, listen, I see God in you, brother. You are great. You are a king. You are a priest. You're not no nigga. You're not no African American. You're not black. You're not no horse. You are the precious daughters of Zion. And you need to be acting that way. You understand? But I love you more than you love you. Here's what the Bible says, all right? Are you ready to If you don't want to listen, you can walk away. That's cool. Read. We're going to take them and bring them to our place. And they shall take them captive. Whose captives they were. We were, we were once their captives. Now we're going to captive. Yes! That's the good news! That's the gospel! If you love me, keep my commandments! Listen, listen to what the word says. You gotta listen to what the word is saying. You can't interrupt the Bible. Come on, read it again. Captain Abiel here, over at the Taste of Soul event, LA. All praise from the Most High. The Most High has given us good weather out here to teach the masses. I'm talking about the masses of blacks, Latinos, Native Americans out here. It's great. Everyone's everyone's in the spirit so far. Teaching, bringing on the word. Like always, the sound of my agenda is heavy. It's heavy. You got all the man going on around. But you know, we got to cast down these imaginations, man. You know, the people out here partying on the seventh day, come tomorrow, they're going to be in the damn Christian church, taking in their worship of God. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, we're trying to get what? Eternal life, correct? Now, what does the Bible say about eternal life? Can I, can I, can I take you to heaven with me? Let's say you and I were married. No, it's, it's, it's a personal choice. It's a personal choice, correct? So first, I'm going to read you this. The book of Philippians chapter 2, verse 12. Bring it out! Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have also always obeyed, not in my presence only, but now much more in my absence. Here it comes. Work out your own salvation. What do we got to do? Work out your own salvation. Work out your what? Work out your own salvation. With what? With fear and trembling. That's right. That's right. So right. if you want eternal life, you're going to have to make sacrifices. Now, I'm going to read your story in the Bible of a woman, a beautiful woman just like you. She was a queen. Let's see what she did. She was under, she was under oppression of the other nations. Let's find out what she did. I'm sorry? I am going to Esther. That's right. You, know? you already read it. I, I read that, yes. All praises. Now check it out. Right now, right now, are you at work? Huh? Are you at work right no. now? Do you have the ability to wear a dress over your pants? Please. Do you, do you have the ability? Like this sister right here. She might have pants underneath, but she but she covered, right? Yeah. Let's find out what Esther did. Read that. The book of the rest of Esther, chapter 14, verse 16. No. No. 15. 15. Okay. Thou knowest all things, O Lord. Thou knowest that I hate the glory of the unrighteous and abhor the bed of the uncircumcised. Talking about the, the Grecian god, a uh, king. The, it was Greeks, right? Yes, sir. The Greek, no, it was the Persian. Persian, 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 Persian meat. Persian meat. She had to marry a Persian meat king. She hated that. Keep reading. And of all the heathen, thou knowest my necessity. Thou knowest what? Thou knowest. My necessity. You said, but what about my child? She said, God, you know my necessity. Bring it out. Right. Keep reading. For I abhor the sign of my high estate. What Bring is that? Out. What did she just say? Read that again. Than... For I abhor the sign of my high estate. What is she saying right there? What does abhor mean? Abhor, I hate. I hate the sight of my high estate. She hated how she had to dress for the king. Bring it out. Keep reading. Which is upon my head in the days wherein I show myself and that I abhor 
It is a menstruous rag. You know what a menstruous rag is, obviously. Here comes a poet brief. And that I wear it not. And that I what? And that I wear it not. And that I what? And that I wear it not when I am private by myself. Bring it out. You have the freedom to wear it not. That's right. At the end of the day, sis, you're going to go home. We're going to go home tonight. GCS is to us. What is it? At the end of the day, we're all trying to get it through the world. What is the price of the answer? Sister, what do we got to do about the turn of Okay, what's your problem? What's your dad's name? Hey, hey, brother. Check this out. We got to do that. We got to do that. We got to do that. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. You just got here. She's been here for about 10 minutes. You're going to go home. Let's hear what this is all about. Rick, fear God. What do we got to do? Fear God and keep his commandments. Why? For this is the whole duty of man. Fear God and keep his commandments. Uh, fear God and keep his commandments. What does it mean to fear God? What does it mean to fear God? What does it mean to fear God? Respect God? Respect God? Reverence, I like that. What about you, sis? You still trying to learn? Well, you're in the right place. This is what it means to fear God, because you know what? In the churches, they don't teach us what it means to fear God. You know what they say? Nobody's perfect. We're under grace. Uh, we're, we're all sinners. Which they don't know what none of that means. Let's find out what it truly means to fear God. According to the Bible. Bring it out. Read that. The book of Psalms, chapter 119 and verse 120. Bring it out. My flesh trembles. My what? My flesh trembles. Why? For fear of thee. For what? For fear of thee. Why? And I am afraid of thy judgment. I am what? I am afraid of thy judgment. I am afraid of what God can do to me when I am in sin. Every woman right now wearing pants is in sin. Turn around and look at my beautiful young sister. Is that modest dressing? But who's to blame? I'm going to show you who's to blame. Mother, I can't do it. She's a Baptist, what are you? You're also Baptist. Now you go going to preach the propaganda. I'm talking to you, sir. Hey. These are man made religions. Hey. Hey. Bring it out. When the white man who taught us Baptist. Where were we at that time? In the cotton field. We learned a religion from a Caucasian man. Right. The Bible calls him the devil. Right. The synagogue of Satan. Right. So now, what, what, what should we do? Knowing that we are the God's chosen people. We are the Israelites. We got to question the pastors. We got we to gotta check the pastors. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. The book of Malachi, chapter 2 and verse 7. Oh, the priest the priest That's your baptism, Pastor. Should what? Should keep knowledge. Read. And they should seek the law. They should what? They should seek the law. The thing is us. Right. It says they should seek the what? The law at his mouth. The pastor's got to be teaching us the laws of God. Right. Hey, sister, before you leave, before you leave, because I said something. The Bible says, prove all things. You end up in bad and sin. Read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22, and verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. What, what pertains to men? The pants. Read! Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Why? For all that do so. No, 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 for some. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. Sister, what must you do from now on? Hold your peace. What must you do from now on? Hey, hey, look here. Yes, sister. Yes. Right. One last scripture before you leave. Okay. You're not going to answer my question. You need to be patient. Don't, don't be, if you ain't patient, just take off. Give me 1 John 2 and 7. You don't scare me. 1 John 2 and 7. Bring it out. A lot of people think that the laws are done away. Okay? Magically, poof, they're done. 
But let's find out what John said about the laws. Read that. The book of First John, chapter 2 and verse 7. No, brethren, I write no new commandment unto you. What does God say? I write no new commandment unto you. Read. Because an old commandment. Because which he, what? Because an old. But, but. But an old commandment. What is the old commandment? Genesis. Uh, we've had these commandments since Genesis. The women who wear dresses since Genesis. You know? Meaning what? There's no pastor that's going to come and say, we're under Christ. Do your best. Everybody, we're all sinners. Bring it up. you got to change your lifestyle. Bring it up. Bring it up. So you can have eternal life. What is the nation? <laughs> Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family.